I am so tired of this. I am so tired of all my hard work and effort to chase one survivor is thwarted because the other ones should stand right in front of me and act like brick walls. And when the exit states are opened, that means free exit state for everybody because everybody else is already healthy. So the one I'm trying to chase down gets a free at stake. I am... I, I'm, I'm so tired of it. I am just... I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all my hard work being for nothing because survivors can abuse their hitboxes to act as brick walls. And I wasn't even tunneling them either! They were the one weakened survivor of the entire group at that point. So it's not like they were justifiably going, we're stopping you from tunneling. It's a, uh, no, we're making sure we formatted tape so we can rub it in your fucking face. As shown by them teabagging me right at the freaking exit. Literally just sta sitting in front of me doing the teabag pose uh, um, um, while the person who's injured also teabags me and then runs out. <sighs> Something shall I give. Killers should not be punished for working their asses off to get a sacrifice. Survivors should not have the advantage against a killer. Ever. And this is my whole statement of why survivors are overpowered. Now people look at it going, oh no, they're not overpowered at all. In fact, the killers are powered. Uh, no, they're not because a survivor who knows how to exploit their kit is so overpowered that no killer in the fucking history of the game is going to catch them. Those videos you see of these top playing killers, the only reason they actually catch those survivors is because they have learned to exploit in the same way the survivors have. I don't want to put that fucking time and effort. Because you know how long that would take me to fucking get so precise how to exploit my damn and on, to, uh, and on top of fucking all that, of having to, get, to, to take that fucking length of time, only certain killers can do it. Only certain ones can be able to exploit at the level survivors can to catch up to them and actually get them. So, hide here, Dead by Daylight, boils down to who's slightly better at exploiting my hitbox. That's what in-game Dead by Daylight is. And that is just sad. When high tier survivor gameplay is reliant on who can exploit their hitbox better. I'm sorry. That's just pathetic. And get behavior is no intent to fix or change this because it's considered the norm. Meanwhile, casual killers like me, who just want to have fun, get teabagged at every single exit gate when a game goes, goes south for them. 
Because the survivors know they're overpowered. They know they have the advantage in every single game. The only way a killer can, um, can win in, against survivors is one of two ways. One, mind gaming, which let's fucking face it, if you're running up against a seasoned survivor, that mind game is going to fucking fall flat like it did so many times during the fucking chases I had. And two, actually, I don't even know where the fuck I was going with that. I'm, I'm just so fucking tired and pissed off that my, my, my sacrifice. I work well, not want my sacrifice. He was, he was he wasn't even fucking death hook. The fucking chase. I worked my ass off for for like thirty seconds to get because they knew how to exploit their hitbox to run around the corners. was all for nothing. <sighs> I'm not asking them to hand me a sacrifice on a silver platter. But what I am asking for is them to rework how fucking survivor hitboxes work. Survivors should not be able to indefinitely body block you. Put a two to three second timer on there. Two to three second timer and then we and then we and then we phase through them and move on forward. Yeah, sure, it's not a fix, and sure, um, it, it'll still let them body block to the escape. But at the very fucking least, if you've got enough distance between you and the exit gate, it gives the killer a fighting fucking chance f to um, get a reward for all that fucking effort. I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm so tired, and I'm stuttering, and I apologize for that. I, I know my videos have me stuttering like a fucking re mentally disabled child, and nothing against mentally disabled children. They, uh, they, there's nothing, there's nothing to control with, and it irritates the shit out of me that I stutter so much, but I don't have much control over it myself. So I'm sorry if my stuttering reduces the quality of my videos, but I can't really fucking control it that well. It pisses me every time I re-watch my fucking videos and I hear myself stuttering five times a fucking row. And I'm just here going, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I sound... S I'm sure I sound so fucking great to you right now. Repeating the same word five times over, like 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 some like, like some kid who needs to be waited on hand and foot by, by a by a nurse because they can't change their own diaper. And once again, I have nothing against those people, just for the record. They are they are unfortunate souls who have the lot in life of being mentally disabled and unable to fend for themselves, and they they need to get that help. And the reason why I compare myself to those people is because I feel it feels degrading to myself personally as an adult who can take care of themselves and do all that shit and yet I'm stuttering like one of those people who can't take care of themselves and it pisses me off when because I think I like that and then I, I picture how people picture me and I go great everybody's looking at me like I'm some disabled kid who can't change their own diaper trying to record a video And 
And like I said, there's nothing. And I, once again, I, I reiterate for the 50th time, there's nothing. I have nothing against those people. They need the help they can get. But then you've got the close my little prince, like many who watch these kinds of videos, who listen to people like me stuttering and go, oh, this mentally retarded little shithead is trying to record a video. Ha ha, they're disabled. They're, they're mentally fucking stupid. They, they think that kind of shit about people like me. The, the kind of people who have zero respect for the disabled and the mentally challenged. And they watch videos like this and they hear people like me and they just go, Oh, the, l listen to the little retard. They're so funny to listen to. Watch this, guys. Laugh at them. I hate the fact that I stutter. And I know it brings down the quality of my videos. I'm sure... I could do after recordings of much better quality, but I don't like doing that. It, it takes away from the moment. The genuine responses of what the fuck and all that, that could be entertaining to some viewers. You know? It's those on the, on the, off the collar moments that made watching a, a recorded video entertaining for some people. And then you got the assholes who find it entertaining that I'm stuttering every five seconds. Anyways, I went off on a random tangent here, and I apologize for that one. Well, I went off on two random tangents. The original being about Survivor hitboxes. Point being... Something's got to give. I am so tired of all my hard work and effort being for nothing. On, and on top of all that, being teabagged at an exit gate by a bunch of survivors who know they're all going to get away and are mocking me for it. I am just so tired of it. <sighs> Anyways. I've ranted your ears off for like 13 minutes now. So... Let's give, let's just give you a game of, of Freddy, I guess. Give you something to watch besides... Me ranting like a... I don't know. And you know what? Fuck it. I know this is gonna make them go toxic, but you know what? I'm fucking tired of it. Whenever I run a Mori, anybody who's watched me long enough knows that it's one of two things. Either I'm just I'm either wanting to um get a get um fulfill a condition and get a little fun in, or I am like fuck it, fun's over, you all are dying. And this in turn, and yeah, I know that that's the toxic form of thinking, which this in turn makes them go uber toxic. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna try and put the microphone up here so that you don't, you guys aren't hearing me breathing into the freaking mic every five seconds. Hopefully, that does better. <sighs> Just, yeah. 
Hopefully this match doesn't go as bad as the last one. But... Freddy's one of those killers where... I enjoy his gimmick. Like, you know, like with Nemesis. I enjoy his, his gimmick and, and his mind gimmick ability. But... And I'm pretty good with him on top of that, so... Freddy is reliant on his mind games. Without them, he is screwed. And wow, yeah. you just did that run very far, did you? <clears throat> okay, seriously, I don't want my game to be against brain dead survivors. Give me a challenge. <clears throat> Come here. Um, where'd she go? I lost her. Well, shit. should have hit. Well, they got away from me. Oh well.
Ah, uh, where are they at? I don't see them. Damn it, why did I swing? sense. How did my attack phase through her body? There was nowhere to dodge. Okay, what the fuck? How did I lose both of them? Jump zero progress on it. And here I thought that'd be the one they'd be working on, of course not. <sighs> okay, what? I was talking about earlier about exploiting hitboxes.
And what really, really gets somebody nervous about exploiting hitboxes is, is the fact that, you know, Oh, you want to go to the basement, huh? Okay, sure, let's go. Ah. See them how? Oh. I am not even just shitting you. How? That's what I figured. Like I said, Freddy's reliant on his mind games. I had to make them run for the gin. So I get up. Okay, what? Okay, seriously, what?
You can guarantee she is mashing those prompts right now. They were healing. Well, That's interesting. Okay. She might have him breakable. Well, regardless. Oh, that reminds me. Nope, I can't worry. And then I brought a fucking Mori. And I didn't Mori a single one. Christ. <laughs> I honestly completely forgot about my Mori. Like, I, I completely forgot about my Mori. Well, so much for Mori. <laughs> Didn't even use it. I completely spaced I had it, to be honest. Those survivors are brain dead, though. The only one who provided a meter challenge was the one who ironically, knew how to exploit his hitbox so that I would hit a box instead of him. He knew that by traveling around those those boxes, that if I swung at any point without a clear line of sight, I would hit the box instead of him. Where to God? I mean, honestly, I, I honestly self wasted my Mori. Or maybe that was their plan all along. Basically, they knew that they couldn't win, so they were like, just hooked us both. That way you can't more either of us. That could have been their plan at the last minute. They thought, well, they can't, um, uh, if, if they hook both of us, they can't more one of us. Something like that, I don't know. Either way, another video in the bag. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, have a nice day.